Harvey Weinstein convicted on three out of five charges. What? Yeah. What did he do? Yeah, crazy, right? <laughs> crazy. So 80, wo- oh, 80 women, I think, is the number that so, you need to get convicted, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So him and Has Cosby. Has to be 80, yeah. Him and Cosby. But, you know, I will say this. The two charges that they were hung on, nailed it. Gosh. What? Sometimes the jokes write themselves were the most serious. So those are the two that carried a life sentence. Now, these do not. Okay. So he's looking at anywhere from five years to 29 years. Um, And this just ended right now. So we're live on air as this is going on. Um, This is really breaking news. For real. Uh, The his attorney had asked for bail. Until the hearing is uh, set for... Saying that he's not a flight risk? Sentencing. Yeah, the sentencing hearing. I- exactly. Super rich guy I with know. private planes. I know, right? Not a flight risk? What'd they say? We don't know. So they're going to they're gonna look at it and say, Oh, fuck you! Right? They did. The judge said, no, he's going to jail right now. Get him out of here. No bail, no nothing. He is currently in jail right now. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, they didn't look at it. <laughs> they just said, nah, you're, done, you're all done here. How We're good. great. Yeah. Um, now, they're immediately looking at an appeal. Um, apparently, one of the jurors, and they tried to get this dismissed yeah. already. Was it, You want to tell them about the book she's writing? Um, yeah, so she's it's an author. something about... Uh, an older man preying on young, younger women. Yeah, but it's like a novel. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. And I think she was posting a lot about it, too. Yeah, they, they asked for her to be dismissed. Uh-huh. Uh, she wasn't. She yeah. had the full trial. Yeah. And, uh, and like various tweets of her just being like. Yeah. So there will be an appeal. There mm-hmm. will probably more than likely be another trial, depending upon when it gets to the sentencing. Because, look, five years is still no joke. If that's the minimum. Yeah. And your max is 29. I mean, it'll yeah. it'll land somewhere in there and then time served since he's in there now as of today. Because let's face it, we know how these things work, especially with Cosby. You're looking at a minimum, a minimum of a year before you can get a retrial on something like this. Yeah. Yeah. At a minimum. Yeah. Usually about. Appeal, it, yeah. Usually it's about 18 months. That yeah. appeal process and, and yeah. everything else, especially in New York. I mean, shit. So he's going to be in there for a while. Right. And it's pretty fucking crazy, man. Yeah. Pretty crazy. I mean, look, it's the rape we don't like, okay? And you know that I've been against rape for a really long time. Yes. You've been very vocal. Um, You're an anti-rapist. Again, I didn't necessarily have the problem with... How do I put this? Girls that were using him, him using them back, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And that was a little bit of his defense. Yeah. And for some of this stuff, sure. Like, they were using him. Yeah. Going out to dinner with him, pretending to like him. Yeah. To get roles. And he, in turn, was trying to use them as well, right? Yes. But it's when it's rape. Okay? Yeah. It's when it's, like, that kind of scary shit. But, I don't know. I don't know. I'm glad, like, that he is convicted. And in jail. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look. He definitely was and got to a point like it didn't start out that way, but he definitely got to a point where he he just completely fucking went off the rails. And well, I mean, it, it appears was, if he's been off the rails for years, him and Cosby. I mean, some right. of these some of these charges are very similar. Yeah. Um, the. Annabella Sciorra thing, I guess, was passed, you know, that was one of the, the main yeah, people, stuff. but I guess that was out of the statute of limitations, mm-hmm. but still having her testify and yes. all that other shit helps yes. with these other girls and all yes. these other cases. And uh, yeah, he's going away for, for a while and you're not going to see him and or hear about him. The other yeah. thing is there is still a case in L.A. right now. So. Oh, and he has to deal with that as well. Yeah. So, so that could go to trial as well. Oof. There could be. A, sh- a chance that he never gets out because he's 67 now right 
And if he gets convicted in L.A. as well, forget it. And they it. give him, like, let's say it's between 5 and 29, right? Mm-hmm. Like, let's say they do 10. Yeah. And it'll be 8. Or, like, 15 and it's sure. 10 or something like that. You're still. And he is so frail. Yeah, well, he's not that he's fucking frail. so but, frail right now. Yeah. Um, a guy like that in prison at that age, he'll probably end up dying in there. Cosby's going to die in there. Uh, yep. It's kind of what you're looking at, especially, look, yeah. if that L.A. thing goes down... And Look, he's guilty in that. That's it. That's life. And it's over. And he had a good run of fucking with people. Oof. His entire life and career. Yeah. He was a cocksucker. Oh, for I, sure. I had dinner with him one night. I told you that. For sure. Uh, and I told you he was married, and this was over in France, and mm-hmm. uh, it was over in Cannes. And he you really hired, must go. Yeah, exactly. He must go. Oh, it's gorgeous. He hired a fucking prostitute that was $100,000 that night. Sure. And sure. we all, uh, I think it was like eight eight or nine of us at this dinner. And uh, everybody kind of looked at each other of like, that is, that's, not his, that's not his wife. Right. Or, or I was going to let this slide. Right. But <clears throat> as his lawyer says, his female lawyer, uh-huh. um, you have to decipher between sins and crimes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. it's like, that's not illegal. Like it's frowned upon and yeah. it's not fucking cool right but that's a legal transaction that he had yeah in france right yeah. and there it's like cheating on his wife like oh my gosh it's a sin it's not a crime sure so even looking at everything that he's done trying to pick apart what is the actual crime that you can get convicted on right mm-hmm. and what are things that we just like don't like as a society and that was his main thing is that he had he just had so many sins, right? Right. Piled on top of each other. <coughs> Pardon me. That like bless you. Thank you. Don't do it again. Though. Yeah, obviously. I won't. I won't. I'll keep those um, buried down deep, way deep inside sorry, my sneezes. Sorry, I just like got thrown off. Yeah. Really? No. But you know what I mean where it's like he had so many of those like stories like this. Yeah. And stories of him being rude and being an asshole and just like an all around bad guy that eventually the crimes caught up to him caught up to him because he had so many of those other things. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's why the trial was so hard. And like I did listen to his lawyer like do this big thing. Cause it's cra- it, it, it was crazy to have He had the best attorney you could have. Best attorney you could have and a female. Yep. To where it's like, what the fuck? And she represented, you know, wrongfully accused guys essentially is her thing and that, she has gotten off a couple people and high profile yeah that's look he had the best you could possibly get in that position for so. sure it, you can't even blame it on a legal team at that point no i mean like i said i think it was just like you can't you can't separate it on this next go round, you might want to give a call to uh Baez, see what he's doing see what he's up to that maybe lose. maybe he got Aaron Hernandez off a double murder. But it's also like they, they can say, you know, is there anyone that there's no way that they could find someone that doesn't have an opinion about him? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As shown in these jurors that either kept getting kicked off or, you know, were showing true bias. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But still stayed on. So it's like there's no way. That you can find someone that doesn't know about these piled on just like you're a bad guy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And again, look, it sounds a little bit like I feel bad for him. R.I.P. Harvey. Which I don't. I don't. Like, I, he it is, is what it is. An if, you, absolute, if you're a fucking rapist, that's you're a it. fucking rapist, dude. Like, you got real big for your britches. And again, when I say, you know, he had a little bit of a defense of like, they were using me too. And you know what? In some instances, he's not wrong. Yeah. But he definitely took that way, way too far. You know? Yeah. Because as a guy yeah. like that, that looks like that, right? Yeah. He's a gro- like scary, gross-looking like looking guy, right? He's yes. just like scary. Yes. Um, and, and he's not friendly. To ha- and not friendly. Like he's just like so a very- Even in real life- it's very gruff, very yes. matter of fact. And it was yes. like, even the fucking dinner I was at, I, all I thought to myself, because he didn't, he didn't say that much um, at the entire dinner, for like an hour and a half. One thing I thought to myself was, I was just like, why are you here? Yeah. You don't enjoy being 
outer, enjoy mm-hmm. being who you are and all that other stuff. Like, mm-hmm. it just looks like he's not having fun doing any of it. Um, the only time you saw that guy smiling or laughing was at award shows and shit like that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know what the real story is with, with him, to be honest with you. I mean, if I was going to speculate a little bit, it'd be like enough women that pretended to like him mm-hmm. because of what he could get them that he might have fucking just went crazy, right? Like, I think he knows how he looks. I think he knows what he is. Yeah. And there could have been a moment where you're just like, fuck you. His wife was rock star hot. So, like... Totally. You know, if you're going to juice up... Totally. Put some... uh, Put a little needle in your penis to get it going. Sure, don't give it to the plant. Yeah. Give it to your wife. Yeah, she's there. Mm -hmm. So, I, I don't know. Um, who and, knows and what again, that? Who knows what that whole shit shit was? She seemed fairly normal, but at the same time, like, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? And, like, and again, you know, right? You've heard the things. You're not an idiot, are you? Um, I, the last thing I'll say on this is like, e- even walking out, like out of that dinner, I couldn't tell you who he is. Like, I'd learned nothing about him. He was not friendly. Didn't speak mm-hmm. very much. He was with a prostitute that was a hundred thousand dollars. I have no idea who that person is. For sure. And like you don't hear him talk or he really is like the puppet master behind all this stuff. And he's never really besides showing up and standing there and taking pictures. Mm -hmm. He doesn't do the interviews. He doesn't do that part of it. The only time I really saw it is in that documentary overnight where you could hear him talking to this Duff guy. Sure. The Boondock Saints guy over the phone yelling at him. Like his progression of like being cool with him and then turning into a fucking monster. You hear it on the phone. Yeah. Um, but really that was the only time that I'd ever and then in these recordings that these girls took. Other than that, you go like, fuck, like I had no I, I have no idea like how he really sounds. Like I have an idea in my mind. Well, it's it's very short, gruff answers that, you know, well, it's, it's this very and I like this. And, look, and this. And and you're like, all right, great. I, I don't know. But it's very um, manipulative. So like like I said in the recordings with these women and like he knows what his power is. He knows how to wield it around. Mm-hmm. And he did it in this documentary and then any recording that you hear. It's like very much just the classic. Like you go, really? Are you saying that? Like you really are saying I can get you apart if you do this. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. 